So, so Claire, if you could um, uh, just kind of clarify for us. So how is ILO normally diagnosed? So the, the, the gold standard, we call it diagnosis for ILO, is, is through something called a diagnostic laryngoscopy, which is where we put a small camera up the nose and just have a look down the back of the throat to have a look at the movements of the vocal cords during breathing. So as we breathe in, normally the vocal cords should open nice and wide so that the air flow in what we see in ILO is you get the opposite effect where the, the vocal cords narrow that space um, so the patient would have difficulty um, breathing to get the air through that smaller space. Um, so that's the diagnosis of ILO. We, we also need to look at it in the context of, of whether the person has an asthma diagnosis or other contributing factors to their breathlessness. So often ILO can go alongside things such as asthma, reflux and rhinitis. Um, so we always ask the patient about those symptoms and we always do assessments. Um, so for the asthma side of things, then we'll do things such as um, breathing tests just to see if they've got any obstruction on, on breathing. Um, and we can do blood tests, etc. Um, just to make sure that if there is a diagnosis of asthma, how stable that is, but additional whether they've got any diagnosis of ILO as well. And if the patient is reporting any throat symptoms, then we'll, we'll kind of take them through the process of the small camera and um, to have a look at the larynx and kind of take them through it. Ideally, um, when we're doing the camera test, the patient should be having symptoms. And um, so we often ask the patients about triggers. So often patients can be triggered by certain um, either strong smells or exercise, etc. So whatever uh, is that patient's trigger, um, then we'll try and introduce that while they've got the camera in. So obviously we need to introduce this in a, in a sort of very gentle way. And um, so it's not threatening to the patient, but we kind of do it um, in collaboration with the patient. 